We normally find that to evacuate students, it takes about one second per student to evacuate out either the front or the rear. If you can use both exits, you can almost cut that time in half. That tells us that if we have a full set of, of students in a school bus, be it 72 or 77 passenger, it's going to take over a minute to evacuate the school bus. We also know from tests that were done that we can fill a bus with smoke from a burning seat in probably half a minute or less. Now the seat material is different now than it was 20 years ago and we can buy actually fire retardant seats but they are uh, extremely expensive and the repair characteristics are different than just patching with vinyl. So we know that if we take a look at the amount of time it takes to, to fill a bus with smoke and the amount of time to evacuate students that we have a deficit of time that can potentially be there. So we're looking at what we can do to buy more time to be able to evacuate students to keep the students and the driver alive during a, during a, a severe fire. We know that if we open the roof hatches and the, and the side windows, we can ventilate that fire. While we do bring oxygen in, we also get rid of the heat and the smoke. We know that heat is a killer and smoke by far is the number one killer on school buses. So if we can keep the students alive by getting enough oxygen and keeping the heat out to eliminate a flare over of, of heat along the top of the school bus, we have a far better chance of evacuating all of the students and keeping everyone alive and not losing any, any victims at all in a school bus fire. Our potential is that we can keep this number at zero and uh, it's through training that we always practice for the inevitable that uh, may be the worst disaster ever. In this situation we're using theater smoke which is transparent and in the bright sunlight we can actually see through it. In an actual fire we would have black smoke that would be far less transparent and we also wouldn't be able to breathe it. So instead of being able to stand up in the school bus we would be crawling on the floor just to get cool clean air that's not contaminated. If we take one deep breath of contaminated smoke from the top of a school bus during a fire, we could potentially be unconscious and on the floor. These firefighters are the ones that help us when we get in trouble. We have the responsibility to see that they're the best trained that they can possibly be. It's our industry. School bus is different from anything else that they ever deal with. They seldom get an opportunity to work with the school bus to ever tear one apart, to see actually how tough they really are, and to learn the characteristics of how they're built. They need to know, because most of them do medical as well, they need to understand the compartmentalization, the padding that's on the seats, the fuel protection that we've got, the rollover protection, so if they need to cut some holes in the side to, to get rid of some seats or, or eliminate some roof bows, or punch the windshield out or whatever they need to do, they should be well trained and confident that they can work with that the best they possibly can. And if any of you ever want help, just give me a call. It was a lot more dense than I thought it would be. Um, there were I thought I would be able to see more standing outside the bus. You can see through, so that you, I didn't think that the smoke would be that thick. Um, it was when we got on, we could not see the back of the bus, and it's actually a shorter bus than a full-size transit. So um, I was impressed. I was under the impression that if I had to go on the bus, I could find somebody in 30 seconds, and I, I truly do not believe that I could. My name is Phil Spina. I'm with Tracy Unified School District in Tracy, California. I thought it was a real good experience to give people, uh, put them in a situation to see what smoke really does inside a bus and how limited amount of time and seconds that you have to get the children off and in a safe place off the bus. And I think it's a real critical thing that should be trained more and more at these STN shows and other shows throughout the country to make people aware of how dangerous bus fires are and how critical it is to be properly trained so you can evacuate the buses and do it in a timely manner.